Let's check them out over the last five years. Oh, wow. They had a great day on the last day of the year, right? Two and a, two, uh, and a quarter percent. All right. Over the last five years, they've had sustainable growth up until 2020, which... Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder what the reason I say it's interesting is because once you find out more what this company is involved in, I would think that they would have had more people buying more trading going on. So which means more fees, more revenue for the company. But since 20 since the coronavirus, they've actually went even further below. Now they're starting to get their their act together and having a two two percent day to close a year is great. I would like to see them break above this 85, right? Because as you can see back in 2019, the 84, 85 level, <clears throat> there's a lot of resistance right there. Uh, yeah, but I, I, why I say this is a long-term investment, we'll go into that. And if you read the article, you're, you'll, you'll understand a little bit more. Uh, the dividend, uh, I don't like it. Obviously, it's less than 2%. But <clears throat> the longevity in this stock, again, the reason, once we go to their website. Institutional ownership, I I enjoy that. As we know, we like to be above 80%, right around that range. Because <clears throat> if you watch the BlackRock or the Blackstone, are really any of these in huge institutions, right? That's what it means by institutional ownership, right? So when you're looking at things, <clears throat> that's another reason why I would have thought this was higher. All right, let's check them out. So as you can see, you know, I mean, I'll read it to you. The world's leading and most diverse derivatives marketplace. So what they do, so the CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, which is located in Chicago, is, and they also have the, the CBOE, which is the Chicago Board of Options, something like that. So they, like in futures. So to make it short, all your derivatives, like when, when you hear people talk about the option market or the futures market, that's based in Chicago. Well, kind of. The, in the electronic version of everything is based, like for your commodities, is based out of Chicago. Your hard assets is based in Geneva, but that's completely different. We're not talking about that. We're talking about <clears throat> the United States and we're talking about commodities and futures so the other markets that they have they're also I, I here right so if you want to trade you can trade corn soybeans crude natural gas uh the indexes um then they also have they have their own brokerage they have their own trading platform and you can you can it's not quite as popular as it was years ago, because we have computers. But if you would like, you can also buy a seat at the table, so to speak. So you can buy it. Like if you've ever watched TV shows of, of the stock market and you hear the open outcry with all the people yelling and screaming and running all over the place. like, And if you don't know what's going on, it looks absolutely crazy. But if you know what's going on, then there's it's, it's kind of like a song and dance. But through here, you can also buy a seat at the table uh, for your company. Um, yeah, if you are interested in trading and this is something new for you and you're like, yeah, well, look at this. I want to trade oil or the SPX or the, 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 the S and P 500 or the NASDAQ, right? Well, if you look over here.
it doesn't seem like a lot. So I, I want you to understand, right, that you need to understand how this works. And I, I don't want to go too much into it, but I'm going to explain just a little bit because there's lots of money in it. But if you do not know what you're talking about or if you don't know what you're doing, it can get eaten pretty fast. All right. So what this means, all right, minimum tick is 25. All right. So every time over here, look over here, this is the ES. So when you see the SPX or you see the ES, so you hear people talk about the S&P 500, right? They're referring, this is the future, right? The future is what trades you know, basically 24 hours a day. Um, opens at Sunday at six o'clock and closes Friday at four, right? So let's break this down well, as you can see right here. Okay, 25 points. So this does not move as in it will never be 74. It goes from like, when I mean, it will, but it, it tends to, to jump 25 index points. So it's, it's 0 0.50, 0 0.25, 0 0.0, or 0.50, 0.75, uh, 0, right? And each dollar, or each one of these 25 cents, right? is $12. So if it moves 50 cents, right? See how this is 24, 50, right? So if it moves that 50 cents, that's $25, right? So you gotta pay attention because this can move very, very fast against you if you do not know what these numbers, right? If it moves a dollar, right, which is four quarters, then how much is it worth to you? It's $50, right, for $1. So you need to be paying attention, be very careful, because you might not think, ah, oh, well, $50, I got $50, no problem, right? Well, it moved $24 in a day, right? So if you, if you're not, if you have $10,000, because they're going to let you trade with this, and I mean, you can even trade with this for less than $10,000, but we'll use $10,000. If you think that you're going to trade the SP or the ESs, this one right here with $10,000, you need to be very careful because look, I just showed you. And this, I think the stock was down maybe 10 points today. So that's a range of 30, right? Off your $10,000, if you were wrong, and you just had a range of 30 against you, you you're you losing a decent amount of, of your capital. So just be careful and make sure that when you <clears throat> come in here, you truly understand these numbers because these numbers are quite important to understand. Now, what they also have, what I, I want to... All right, well, they also have options, which <laughs> that's a whole different um, monster that I don't have time to talk about because I'm already running out of time on that one explanation. But to finish, they have the micros. So if you're just now getting, if you're new into the game, you want to, like, this is fun and exciting because, you know, when I was, if you think of, oh, well, that's, I could have lost $1,000. But then, you know, majority of the people are optimistic and they're like, well, I would have made a thousand dollars. Right. Um, make sure you know what you're doing. And second, there is an even smaller one. This is the minis, but they also have the micros, which I would advise any new person to trade with the micros first. So that you get a hang of it and it doesn't eat your your money quite as fast. But other than that check out the the site cme group um here you go yeah they got educational uh information for you i gotta go because it's over five minutes